<clears throat> Psalms chapter 13. How long? Interesting statement right there. How long will thou forget me, O Lord? Now God doesn't forget us. And we get this, we get this statement in the New Testament under grace, you know, that the Lord will never forsake us. But in trials and tribulation, praying to God and looking for answers, sometimes we think that God does forget us. How long wilt thou hide thy face from me? Now, God's not hiding. It's man's reaction to a prayer life that God's not answering yet. God's long-suffering. God is patient. How long shall I take counsel in my soul, having sorrow in my heart daily? How long shall my enemy be exalted over me? And it's to the chief musician, the Psalm of David. And David's like, you know, Lord, I'm, I'm seeking you. I'm reaching out to you. You're hiding. You're not answering. And how long? And meanwhile, my enemy, they're getting advantage over me. And they will. If God's answering your prayers and if God is, is taking care of you, they will get over you. And they think they're right. They, they think they're doing right. And, and the Bible tells us we're not to envy them. It looks like David has a little envy here. They're doing well. And I'm not doing so well, Lord. Death hasn't come and the judgments haven't come yet. Consider and hear me, O Lord. He's hearing, my God. Lighten me, my eyes. Give me light. I need light. At least I sleep the, the sleep of death. Lord, I'm going to die. Yeah, we're going to die, but it may not be that bad. David, we know his life by reading the Bible. He had troubling times. He had times where it did look like God was gone. He had times where King Saul was chasing him. He had times... Now he was reaping from sin by his own sons were chasing him. And David, we know, died a good old age. He got to the point that, you know, he couldn't get heat, was so old, and his, his throne was going to be overthrown again, and with Bathsheba and, and his seer, like, all right, let's put Solomon on the, on the throne before I die. And there was a joint reign between King David and King Sol Solomon. And we overreact. Oh God, if you know, if you don't take care, if you don't help us, we're gonna die. We're gonna die. And God's like, I know when you're gonna die. You don't know nothing. Get up. And sometimes God puts us through things to try us. How patient are we? How much are we willing to get it? How much are we gonna ask him for it? It may not be the right time. At least my enemies say, I have prevailed against him. And there was one time in David's life when he went up against a giant and the giant thought that he killed him. And one of his men came in and killed the giant. Maybe this is that time. And maybe there are things in our life, there are activities in our life that we think, you know, that's it, we're done. I've had those times. I thought, for, for, well, there would be no tomorrow. I'd be in glory. It didn't happen. God blessed me more. God taking care of me more. And those that trouble me rejoice when I am moved. Move me, you know, I'm fleeing. I'm getting in despair. I'm losing hope. But I have trusted in thy mercy. Well, keep on trusting. My heart shall rejoice in thy salvation. Keep on doing it. Don't lose the patience. Don't lose the battles. Keep going to the Lord. He'll take care of you. I will sing unto the Lord. And this is a this is a psalm. It's a song. Because he has dwelt bountifully with me. So. And this thing here. My wife just died. And I know people. They mean well. They're, they're counseling. You know. You're looking for a wife. It's too, too soon and all that. Listen. I know that God loves me. I know God's walking with me. I know God's taking care of me. I know God's blessing me. I know God's answering me. I know God's taking care of me. I don't know if God will give me another wife. I hope he does. I'm praying he does. But there are times in the life of a Christian that, you know, something's missing, whatever it be, and there's nothing that can fill that spot in your life. 
I suppose when David got old, I mean, he had wives. He again with me. I, I, I imagine David getting old when he's too old to fight. I can imagine he remember those old days of battle. You know, the mighty man with the sword, the mighty man with the rock, the mighty man doing battle with the fellows. And I bet he just sat back one day and said, "You know, I missed that. Oh, if I can only just go back into battle. I'm too old." Or about even not even a wife. What about his best friend Jonathan? After Jonathan died with his father in battle. Oh, but I could just have a man like Jonathan again. Man, or, I mean, the, the, the sodomites use it for sin, but it wasn't. Two men and Conrad in arms, they're, they're more friends than a husband and wife because they've been through more. And I've been married twice, and I, I've been a widow twice, and be, you, don't know, you don't know what it's like. And I can't go up to a military person who's been in, con, in, in conflict and in battle and say, you know, well, what you're going through, and I don't know what you're going through. I would not, I do not know what it's like to have to take someone's life. I would not have to know where I have to go live somewhere where it's hot as anything, and, and you got to live restricted life, restricted food, and be away from your family. I don't know what that is. And there are times right now, Lord God, I, I need help. I need, I need, for me, I need that love. I need that care again. I, I, I don't, I don't have the promises in the Bible. I'm not saying God's not going to hear me. But I'm to a point right now, I'm just pleading, Lord God, if you just answer this prayer. But in life, there has been times where, Lord, I need this prayer. I need, and, and we're desperate. And yet, God in heaven who knows everything. Like, it ain't that bad, eh? See, God has seen tomorrow. God has seen next week. God has seen next month. God has seen next year. God has seen next decade. As far as a Christian today, oh, there's problems today, Lord. And the Lord's like, you know what? And I'm not dating. I'm just giving as those right. <coughs> today is so terrible. Today is so bad. <coughs> Forgive me. And again, I'm not dating, but God's in heaven. So, you know, tomorrow at 2 o'clock, the rapture's happening. Just hang on. I'm not saying the rapture's going to happen. But I'm just saying God knows. God knows when the rapture's going to happen. God knows, hey, you know what? Tomorrow night, you're, you're going to go to bed. You're going to sleep the best sleep you had, and you're not going to get up in the morning. You're going to be home in glory. You're going to wake up tomorrow. You're going to realize someone's going to come to the door. It's going to be one of your Christian friends, and they're going to give you some money or some help that you need. Me, one day, if Lord, I hope the Lord does, and one day I'm going to meet that woman again. And I'm, going to, I'm going to be married again. And I just, you got to wait. God is patient. God is long-suffering. And what we see is a dire emergency. God's like, I got it in control. The worst thing for a Christian is you'll be absent from the body and present with the Lord. That's the worst thing for a Christian. And David here, he's got a life of trouble. He's got life. We've read his entire life story. And a lot of Christians would panic under the, the, the thing of David in his life. But with all the pain, how long, how long? And yet verse 5 and 6, he rests upon past experiences with the Lord. Hey, you know what? I'm, I'm in trouble right now, Lord. I got problems right now, Lord. But you know what you did back then? Man, I had a struggle. You know, I got down there and I met that Goliath. I looked up at Goliath and went, oh boy. He's a lot bigger than I thought he was. But we got the victory, Lord. Lord, you know, I, I'm in that cave, me and my men, and then came King Saul. Oh, no. Oh, Lord. I got out of that okay. Warren set just stretches, and we're in trouble with the problem. Got, and and the, the, the hymn is, count your many blessings, name them one by one. You got to mark your Bible. You got to read, you got to read, your. you got to put prayer. I put dates and I put prayers in my Bible. People I'm praying for. People who have died and going home to the Lord. People who died probably going to hell. I'm looking at one right now. There's things here. Lord God, pray for my ears. My Lord, my ears hurt again. The Lord's taking care of them. I'm not deaf. Lord, my foot. Lord, Tracy's in the hospital. Lord, I'm in the hospital. Lord, this is in the hospital. Lord, you know. And you read through the things and you put your Bible that you're supposed to read every day and things that God's answered and prayers in your life. You put them in your Bible and you go through it and you read that. Oh, wow, I forgot all about that. 
at the time in my I don't know where it is, but at the time in the Bible, a guy got in an accident in our car in our in our driveway, and hey, the Lord took care of that. Great, I yeah, pray for his name is David. I pray for David. I don't know where he is. I pray for him. God took care of that wonderfully and marvelously. And you need to write or have a prayer book and write down events like I do. Stuff has happened and how God's answered those prayers. If he's answered them yet, he will answer them. Sometimes that answer is no, but you got to have that prayer book or you got to have your Bible to go back and say, all right, that's what God's done. I'm going through right now. The thing is, I don't have a written promise. God, you gave me a wonderful first wife. God, you gave me a wonderful second wife. You know how I am. Maybe, Lord God, you'll give me a third wife. Praise the Lord. Or maybe the rapture will happen. 